All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello everyone, this is Etienne from Bladebridge and today I'll be demoing our Bladebridge command line utility to convert talent jobs to PySpark code. Here at Bladebridge, we specialize in the automation of ETL and code conversions. All of our products can be executed from Linux or Windows. And all necessary files for conversion can be found directly on our community portal. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have a talent job that has about seven sources, a union, a remove duplicate, a filter row, a map component, a replicate component, an aggregate count component, and two targets. So let's get started. We simply need to export this. I've actually uh, created a folder with all the necessary files from our portal. And now I will export this talent job into it. And now we have everything that we need for conversion. So if you're not familiar with how to run command line utilities, do not worry. We'll go over that right now. Um, what I usually do is I create a bat file. This bat file is exactly the same thing that you would put directly into the command line. Um, the first thing that you need is the executable, which you can get directly from our portal. Then the license path. This is something that we will provide to you. Then our input folder, which is the talent job I just exported. Our output folder. So where is the new code being generated to? Also, our Bladebridge converters can convert to and from many different technologies. So it is important that you specify which technology you want to convert to. In this case, PySpark. Then to our configuration file. This is a vital for any conversion we do here at Bladebridge. A lot of the conversions are specified directly in the configuration file, which we will provide. As you can see, it's on the, it's on the portal. We didn't want our users to work in a black box solution. So we chose to externalize these configurations to allow the client to have the power to convert things to their own specifications. You can specify and expand to the built-in patterns that we provide. So here is my actual real life bat file. All I need to do is specify this bat file to my command line and it will run. As you can see, it takes a few seconds. And then to our output, it generated a, pi, a .py Python file. We can open it. And as you can see, we have all seven of our sources uh, we can also put this job right here just so we can compare them. Then we have our filter component that is right here. The union component right here. The drop duplicates, that's all that's right here. The map, which is a join, then to the replicate component, the aggregate count component, and finally it writes to two outputs, or oh, two targets in this case. So awesome, as you can see, our converter converted everything from that talent job and it is very not limited to just these components. It can convert the JavaScript code directly embedded inside of a talent job or convert any other components. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of our um, JSON configuration file. Um, these, you can 
we also accept inheritance. So you could basically inherit this file and change and add any configuration that you would like. So thank you for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed this demo. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next tutorial. Thank you.